Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what's in this room. This is the more organic room of all the rooms. It's like a, a castle courtyard of sorts, so to speak, where it's outdoors and the, yeah, it really does feel like a castle courtyard, but it is still indeed a temple. But anyway, I'm going to get a couple hearts here just because I can jump across here for the fun of it and see if I can snipe these guys along the way as well. I think I'm a bit too far away. Mm, yeah, I am. That's too bad. So let's just jump down into this new room. <laughs> oh my god! If you, it, I was holding forward there to cause that. Wow. Just wow. Wah! And, no, I didn't mean to hit your nuts. Well, actually hitting your nut would be a desirable thing for me to do. Because uh, that probably would kill you. <laughs> and I hear... Oh, it's just normal Skulltula. I was looking for gold Skulltula. Oh, wait, there's fire up. I mean, I, I need to burn that web off with something? Do I perhaps need fire arrows to get up there, maybe? I know all the items of uh, this Zelda game pretty well, so... That's probably how I can, how it helps me sniff out the puzzles in this one, or I should say sniff out the solutions to puzzles, and just ignore the ones that I can't do right away. Because, you know, I, I know all the uses for the items. Well, most of the uses. <laughs> Pretty sure I can drain that water later. Hello, gold Skulltula. I will take your token. Um, well, there's two paths that I can take from here. There was... This one that I can jump... <clears throat> I thought... Oh, no, yeah, I can't. Why did I think I could jump down there? I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> wait, wait, what, 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 what happened there? What? I'm back in the lobby. What? What was the point of all of that, then? Was I supposed to have gotten something over there? I'm gonna do the loop again. Alright, this room again. I... wow. I didn't even notice these doors here before. So that explains my puzzled nature. So, oh. There's this switch here. Oh, this controls the twisted corridor? Oh, wow. What if I hit it again? So that, that actually controls those uh, blocks in front of it as well. Very interesting. Yeah, that corridor right there is the corridor that led to the boss key room. So, let's go back and see what the other door was before I go any further there, because I know that there's a little more that I can access now because I twisted the room. Are you dead? Are you dead? Sun song. <laughs> it's kind of cheap to take care of Reed deads this way, but they're so creepy. <laughs> No! Curse you and your sexuality. <laughs> okay, what do I get in this room? This just a tiny treasure chest. You know, I really could use a dungeon map. I, I would very much appreciate a dungeon map or a compass. Well, a key is pretty nice too, but still, a dungeon map or a compass would be pretty nice. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go back over to that twisted room. All right, here we are. This is probably one of the coolest rooms just because of the f effect of it. It's like the gravity and everything is fit towards that carpet there, and yeah, you get the idea. Very neato room here. Now I have access to this. Ah, so that's how you progress. And this is the room with the first pole. Uh-oh. Oh, I need the bow and arrow for that. Okay. Well, will I be able to get that soon? I certainly hope so. <laughs> uh, and there's a torch. Hmm. I know I can't light that with Din's fire. I've tried those golden torches before with Din's fire and it didn't work for, for me. Uh, Staffos. Staffos? Nope. Ow. Okay, let's, let's fight these for realsies this time without <clears throat> any fails. Well, besides that first one there. And just show you how to do this properly. <laughs> like that. Just 
hit him as soon as you possibly can after his sword hits your shield, basically, and you should be able to hit him back. Well, most of the time. Well, that takes care of that. And that makes this thingy fall into place. And now there's two. Uh, here's an interesting fact about Staphos as well, is that when you are Z-targeting one, what happens is that the other one won't attack you. I don't understand why. It's as if they have a code of honor. Like, if a person is Z-targeting one, the other one is not allowed to attack or something like that. That's an, that's an odd code of honor, but uh, that's evidently the code of the staff holes. <laughs> and how am I get, taking hits there? I'm pulling out my shield. Eh, whatever. Eh. There we go. And I get a dungeon map, maybe, finally, or will it be the bow? Actually, I prefer the bow at this point, because I'm right next to the room with the uh, pole. You know, that has one of those uh, fiery lanterns that relight those torches back at the lobby. Ah, so it is. So now I'll be able to do some things in this dungeon. You remember that eye switch back at the main room that led to that door that I couldn't open just yet in the last part? That I was like, ah, oh, there's a third path that I can take in the main room. Yeah, now I can go that way. <laughs> but first, I'm going to backtrack a little just to get the pole in the other room. Now I'm going to just... Put, um, I'll, I'll keep my... No, wait, I, I want my ocarina out. Because you never know when there's going to be a song of time block or something like that around here. Alright. Back over here. And now let's carefully, carefully look around so we don't scare the pole going back into its frame. Oh, there we go. I should be able to shoot it from a distance like this. Because if you get close to one of these things, or too close to one of them, excuse me, what'll happen is that it'll disappear and then you won't be able to get it. And did it go on the other frame? No? Where's... Oh, oh I see. Wait, now it's behind me, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ah! Curses. Must get ghostly frame. There we go. And there's one more left. This one can't do anything about it because there's only three frames in the room. And now it's going to go down at the bottom. We're going we're gonna to have a little battle. And by little battle, I mean it's just like any regular old pole, basically. In that it disappears. Wait, actually, I'll show you. It's actually got its own name, basically. They're, they're pole sisters. <laughs> so these are special kind of poles, but at the same time, they're still pretty much just lame old -o poles. Come on. Just a little any day now. There we go. And no, don't go invincible mode. <laughs> you are not Rocket Warrior. Why did I make Yu-Gi-Oh reference? I have no idea. Yeah. Ow. Am I gonna have to block your attack so I can hit you? Maybe you are a little bit tougher than your regular Poe, I guess, maybe. But at the same time, not all that much. And now you disappear. Dang it! Yeah. yeah, no, no invincibleness. Please, no. How many hits? Come on, man, how many hits? Yeah, I guess they are a little bit tougher than a regular Poe, but they're still not all that special. And now what'll happen is that their flames will disperse and go onto that torch, I guess. And it'll also go back to the lobby. One of those fight, uh, one of those flames will go back to the lobby and relight one of those torches. You actually only have to look for three of those. The fourth one will be in the lobby itself, like you're gonna um, go near that elevator and then you're gonna get a battle from the fourth one, as, a, as like a boss battle of sorts. And now we got the map, so that makes me quite happy since I'll be able to see what the heck I'm doing. Then again, without the compass, you know, to see what chests I missed, that's kind of useless to me at the time. <laughs> now, back over at this room. The, wait, wait, wait. Did I go to... Oh no, this is another pole room. I'm okay. Uh, uh, I heard that. Oh, it's... Okay. So you're over... Th well, you were over there. So I guess I gotta take care of this pole the same way. Yeah, it's basically the same... Same old design room as before. Yep. Yep, there we go. I gotta get used to shooting with the bolt and not with the uh, slingshot like I have been as a kid. Yeah. 
Clink. And as I said before, the last one will have no choice but to go down to the lo lobby. Go down to the bottom floor. Maybe this will give me the uh, give me a compass. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah. Hua. Hua. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Make yourself visible again. There we go. Come on. Slash it. Slash it. Slash it hard. Oh. Perhaps I should be using like jump slashes or something like that because of the fact that it is a uh, more a tougher pull basically and jump slashes or I should say jump attacks when so Z targeting will, will do a little more damage. Although if it's anything like a regular pull like I thought I was before, um, you know, it, once you Z target it, it'll disappear and it won't be vulnerable anymore anyway. So. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just have to live with that. So that's two out of the three poles that we're looking for. As I said, fourth one is back at the main lobby. Compass. Compass! Yes! Oh, yes! That makes me happy. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rooms and see what I missed. Absolutely nothing! That is a good sign. <laughs> so I'm going to save it right here just to make sure that I don't miss anything, and I noticed that I'm kind of low on time. I should say I'm almost done with this part, so to speak. Wait, did, I, did you just say watch out to a torch? This torch is lit. That means... Why did you say watch out to that? Are you saying watch out because I could get burned? Well, anyway, I'm going to end off this part here, and I'll see you in the next part when we see what is beyond this door. Okay, I can't. It's locked. See you back in the lobby. <laughs>